Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another episode of Blind Buys. I want to preface this episode by saying we do not talk about politics on this channel. It doesn't matter if it's a politician, a person who makes a fragrance, or anything even remotely similar, an actor, anything like that. If they have their name attached to a fragrance, we do not talk about what they do outside of the fragrance. I do not care. I will not be nice about it. Anyways, guys. So, for my buddy Lon, we correspond a lot. He is asked for success by Donald Trump. Or by Trump, sorry. Not Donald Trump, just Trump brand. That's why I say we don't talk politics, nothing at all. We only talk about fragrances here, guys. So, Lon says this is a great fragrance. He uses it sparingly, and uh, he likes to layer with it. So now that we've cut the cellophane, we are all in. This is a discontinued fragrance, as are all the other fr others from this line. There is Trump Empire, and I believe the other one is Donald Trump. The scent, I believe, is the first one. Um, that was the first one. Donald Trump, the scent, was the first one. Success was the second one, and Empire came out after that. And I believe there is Ivanka as well, but we don't do perfume here, really. Is it going to come out the bottom? Okay, we got it out the bottom. So this is a one-ounce bottle. So I'm also going to probably have to use it sparingly as this stuff is drying up. The market is just crazy. Um, people bought this up and it's disappearing. When I started, the Trump empires were actually pretty prevalent. Like you could still get them. And then they dried up very fast. So success, I had to buy on eBay. And if you're going to want to buy any of these, it's now or never. You're going to have to get it through a third party. And it just is what it is. Uh, this stuff is just going the way of the dodo. I can smell it through the cap already. And we've got our Fragrantica uh, cop out going already. So we've got aromatic off the top, woody, fresh spicy, leather and warm spicy it smells woody already so yeah it's uh it's woody and kind of spicy fresh spicy let's give her the old one two one two little on the second third should do third shot's hot guys so let's just kind of let that waft the boot into the air and really Wow, I'm already getting shots of that up into into the old face holes. This is a nice bottle, plasticky cap, but it clicks on nice. It's uh very classy. I kind of like it. Let's get some some notes going. On the top, we've got juniper, red currant, and coriander. In the middle, we've got bamboo, interesting, ginger, and geranium. And in the bottom, we've got birch, vetiver, musk, and tonka. And I gotta say, so far, this is pretty darn pleasant. This is not, um, okay. So this sort of reminds me early of, and it's nowhere in the notes, but it sort of reminds me of this cucumber melon nail polish remover my mom used to have when I was like eight, nine or 10 or something like that. I don't know why. I think it's uh, it's fresh off the top. It smells a lot like a uh, kind of like like an Irish Irish Spring type shower gel. It's pleasant. It's fresh and clean, and really. That bamboo note is actually really kind of, I keep looking at it on the screen. It kind of intrigues me. It's kind of early to really say like, 
this is what, because the mid notes, the heart is kind of what the scent actually is. The heart mixed with the bass after the top kind of dries off. And I want to say that that bamboo is kind of what kind of cleans this up and makes for kind of a fresh but um, airy, maybe airy is not the right term. I want to say clear. It's like a clear, clean waft onto it, you know? Yeah, the bamboo and the ginger, it's got a nice ginger scent. The bamboo is reminiscent of Mont Blanc Star Walker, and the ginger is reminiscent of Valentino Yellow Dream. So those are two easy to pick out. You notice those two. I don't have any really frame of reference for red currant, but the juniper is up top. It's herbaceous and somewhat piney, sort of tree, like sort of woodsy, but in a piney way. And the coriander was kind of like just, it, it aided into that. It's definitely in that uh, that spicy kind of what was wafting out of the atomizer and things like that. Let's give ourselves a couple more to go about the rest of our night with this. Got a few things to do around the house, whether or not we get to doing them, who knows. So that second shot wasn't super good. I would say this atomizer isn't, isn't exactly Wundumbar, but it's not horrible either. I wouldn't say it's the worst atomizer I've ever had. I feel a little bad every time I spray this because it's just so rare and I only get one ounce of it. I already know, I already know, I, I know, I know I need to get another backup bottle of this before they're 60 to $100 a piece for each ounce, which I don't see why they won't get that expensive there's obviously a demand for this stuff and there is definitely only so much supply. So that being said, I'm not going to drive the hype up on this, but I personally know I'm already going to go get another bottle of this. So thanks again to Lon. Big shouts out to you, my man. I hope you're doing well over there on the West Coast. And I'll talk to you in the comments, just like I'll talk to any anybody else in the comments. If you'd love to, uh, if you want to leave me a comment, I'd love to talk to you. We can chat about anything except politics. Okay, we can chat about anything. Um, but yeah, we'll have a full review after I wear this for a few more days over on the other side of the waterfall. I always point, but it's a fade out. Okay, folks, time to wrap up our thoughts on success by Trump. Please excuse any noise in the background if anything comes through. It's a, finally got a nice day out, so everybody's out and everybody's being active. It's no big deal. So in terms of batch code, we've got 13037 CG, which turns out this bottle is over 10 years old. It gives us a an exact born on date of February 6th. 2013 so a little over a year and two months maybe i got this off of ebay a few months ago for 27 dollars and five cents it's a one ounce bottle easy math um the prices have started to go up since i bought this bottle that's just kind of the economics of things it's a consumable product so the price will always go up on discontinued items such as this. But um, being that it's 10 years old, we need to temper our expectations further. Um, projection might have been better back in the day. Now it's sitting somewhere around like a two or a three out of 10. Longevity is not amazing. You might get four to six hours out of it. It, depending on what you're doing, I'm going to go ahead and say it's maybe a safe four. All sorts of weird noises today. Um, 
the, uh, the sorry, um, I kind of see what they were going for with this on their, on the free Grantica page for it. They kind of rip off um, the explanation if it's available elsewhere. And in the write-up that I believe probably came from trumpsuccess.com, you can see it on the back there, maybe. Um, but it listed it, it said it's an aromatic fougere. So fougere being a citrus top, uh, lavender and floral mid, and a uh, vetiver... What did I write down? A vetiver tonka-ish kind of base to it. Um, oak moss as well. So I sort of see what they were going for with this. Um, although none of the notes listed are citrus notes, there are many citrus ingredients in this, such as uh, limonene and citral. Citral being an orange peel terpenoid and limonene being a general citrus uh, essential oil. Um, so you do sort of get a citrusy, fruity top, a an aromatic, piney, the, the juniper on the top, uh, very piney, um, but it doesn't really last all that long, that pine type scent. It's mostly uh, a floral soapiness. So it's a, it's a safe scent is really what it is. It's very soapy throughout the day. Generally, if you're wearing this, what you're going to get is a safe, soapy smell, which works out with a lot of other things. My buddy Lon says he likes to layer it with stuff. So if you're layering it, you're going to get a sort of soapy vibe to go with whatever else you're pairing it with. So this is a safe scent. It's not going to really bust anybody's balls or anything like that. It's pretty nice while it sticks around, although it doesn't really stick around for too long. I think a lot of the base notes have kind of dissipated, although they say top notes are the more volatile and are more apt to disappear. Really, I didn't get any vetiver out of this. It is sort of like the only stuff out of the base I'm really getting was sort of a powdery tonka smell. It's like sort of powdery and slightly chocolatey and an odd musky water smell. Like if you kind of like kept a bottle of water sitting around for a little while and then you like took it out of this like the windowsill that you're letting it chill on and you splashed it on yourself it would smell sort of weird it's sort of like that it's kind of like there's an odd leftover water scent but that's to be expected oh geez and it's a 10 year old scent so it is what it is should anybody buy this probably I don't know. I really don't know. Um, this is probably something that you're not going to wear. Most people aren't going to be too stoked about the performance on this, but there are certain factors that make up, um, like a price that is going to increase. You take a polarizing figure, add a, a product that is used, it is consumable, and then only make it for a certain amount of time, discontinue it, so there's a limited supply, it's consumable, and there's a polarizing name attached to it, and eventually you're gonna have a product that even though it doesn't work the way it was meant to when it was created, it will continue to go up in price. And I think it is possibly a speculative buy, 
Nobody should be doing that. It's stupid, but it is a possibility. It's like sneakers. There are sneakers out there where the soles have turned to mushy foam. You can't wear them anymore, but they're still worth $5,000. Why? I don't know. I'm not a sneaker guy. I do stinks. Whatever. So, if you're into speculation, eh, you know, it might be better than the stock market right now. Because actually, this is, uh, this is doing better than some of my portfolios. So, anyways, that being said, guys, find something that's as unique as you are. Wear it unabashedly. Until the next time I see you, take it easy, guys. Thanks.